So hi guys, I want to welcome you to, or back to my channel, Sunset Songs. We're here, um, I basically am sharing my personal journey with the Law of Attraction. Um, the intro here may have been a little bit crazy, just trying to kind of set the scene, and I wanted you uh, to be able to see a little bit of uh, my cat Sasha, because um, this not only is about my journey but of course my cat Sasha is with me through everything and um, on this journey guys um, my channel is all about the law of attraction and um, on my journey I am hoping to help you on your journey um, as well and obviously if you're watching this video then you probably already have a little bit of an idea about what the law of attraction is all about the law of attraction is basically the idea that like attracts like um, with your thoughts with your mind and so on and so forth um, if you are thinking positive then you are attracting the positive things in life um, and with those positive thoughts, you are pushing the negative things away from you. Um, at the same time, if you are thinking negative thoughts, then you are um, attracting the negative things out of life that you don't want. And you are pushing the positive things in life that you do want away from you. So anyhow, um, with that being said, I want to jump into this video real uh, fast. I don't know exactly how long... Um, I have um, because I record my videos from my phone so I don't know how long the how much more um, space I have on my phone so I want to hurry up and jump into this um, recently I put up a short about a little bit of a ritual that I basically came up with and um, I know that if you're if you are viewing my channel um, you could be into a I don't know what you might be into um, I don't know if you want to call um, if you want to call it like um, some people may be into maybe a little bit of witchcraft um, some people think that that's not a real thing I don't know um, some people don't believe in in magic that that type of thing um, but I actually have the book right here um, the secret and this is um, actually the book um, in the series um, the secret and it's called the magic um, so I'm not saying that if you're watching my channel you're necessarily into witchcraft it's all about the way you look at it um, I personally myself just choose to live um, in more of a magical way um, these days and believe in a magic in life and when I'm drawing towards me instead of living such a mundane life it to me it just it just makes life it just adds a magic to life we'll put it that way don't want to draw on it want it too much but anyhow um I just feel that in your everyday practices whatever um whatever you want to call yourself whatever I you know I don't know who's watching but um when you take different techniques that you see you read in books and um, you watch videos on whatever um, I've often said in the, like the spiritual community that you can take something and you can take a ritual whatever and just kind of make it your own um, I've, I've, I've seen in some places where that is somewhat called a chaos which I don't know um, I'm not gonna go into all that um, because I don't know what you call yourself I'm still kind of working on what what I'm what I'm calling myself so I won't go into that that's another video um, but again this this is all about the law of attraction my personal journey and um, I'm just trying to take you invite you along on the, the ride with me so anyhow um, with that being said I did come up with a bit of a ritual now I called it um, originally I started out with calling it um, basically tell it to a pumpkin um, but I changed the name to a Cinderella ritual. Um, guys, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm probably going to have to break this up. Like I say about other things that I talk about on my channel, um, blah, on my, on my channel, um, my channel, <laughs> um, other things that I talk about on my channel here, tongue tied here. Um, other things that I talk about on my channel, 
I've often said that I am a Gemini and I'm so it makes me kind of a little bit of a talker um, so anyhow with that being said um, I'm probably gonna have to break this video up this ritual up into a couple of different parts like a different like add a part one to that that type of thing and I'll just see how long basically the pumpkin lasts because um, I didn't write down the date of today but actually um, we are within the energy of a of the first full moon of 2022 which is a um, full moon in the sign of cancer which cancer is the crab um, and I've made other videos where I tell you that there's a corresponding card that goes to um, every zodiac sign. Um, the corresponding tarot card that goes along with um, the the zodiac sign of Cancer is the chariot. Um, I, I I love the way everything's kind of laid out, laying out so beautifully for me, because I. The way things are happening, everything's are, everything is just kind of laying itself out for me to be able to add things to my videos. So anyhow, um, so I just want to kind of thank the universe with that. But um, if you, I'm, I'm talk, I, I called my ri this ritual the Cinderella ritual, and um, you know, with Cinderella, um, her fairy godmother, which I've actually put a witch out here, and you can see her little clock on her. Um, I've put a witch out here. And I'm basically saying I don't know who you would say your fairy godmother would be if you could if you could pick one. You know that's not the way the movie worked. You didn't pick who your fairy god. She didn't. The Cinderella didn't get to pick who her fairy godmother was. She just popped up. Um, but I don't know. Like there's been remakes of the of uh, Cinderella, whatever. And Cinderella, I when I was reading up on um, information like when I was coming up with the information and making my notes or whatever for my video um, I actually found out that originally Cinderella um, Disney did wasn't the first to basically come up with that idea um, and it's been rewritten down through history it's the, the story's been told time and time again by like the the Brothers Grimm um, recently um, I even saw where there's actually um, it's a changing world <clears throat> there is, I believe, an African American male that is playing um, the part of the godmother in maybe a 2021, I think, version of Cinderella. Don't mark my, but I do think it is a maybe a 2021 version of of Cinderella. So anyhow, and it's an African American male playing the part. Um, so anyway, I want to see that, but I haven't seen it yet. And I wanted to watch the, the other versions of the movie before I made the video. But I'm like, let me just jump into the into the whole thing because of the fact that um, my pumpkin is changing. Again, because of I've had this pumpkin ever since um, Halloween. And I've said in previous videos, um, I love Halloween for, for lots of different reasons. But um this pumpkin to me really isn't in the worst condition. It is changing. So I wanted to hurry up and make the video um, because I'm gonna take the pumpkin and abandon it out in uh, my backyard um, with the rest of the ritual um, that I've come up with. Um, but anyhow, um, I don't know who you would, if you could come up with a fairy godmother, if you would pick the, the African-American male or to be your fairy godmother, or if you would pick, um, I've come up with a couple different ideas. I think there was a remake version of um, Cinderella where um, uh, maybe Whitney Houston was the fairy godmother. And then Brandy, I believe, was um, Cinderella. Brandy played the, the part of Cinderella. So anyhow, um, but for, for my video, I've got a witch here. And she's got a clock. And we're thinking about 12 o'clock rolling around. And we've got this pretty pumpkin here that... I've had ever since Halloween and it still hasn't went back yet but guys I want to tell you that right now um, it is actually because of circumstances um, the fact that I wasn't feeling that I haven't been feeling the best the last couple of days um, I've wanted to make my videos as soon as I got off from work uh, make this video as soon as I got off from work but it hasn't worked out that way I'm making this video a little bit after 12 o'clock in the morning um, but to me, that makes perfect sense because of the story of Cinderella. Um, Cinderella had to hurry up and uh, get to the ball and, um, you know, 
do her finessing or whatever she had to do um, before 12 o'clock because when 12 o'clock came, um, the pumpkin and everything was going to go back to the way um, it was before the fairy godmother um, hooked Cinderella up with her beautiful dress. I don't remember if the, the dress was blue or whatever. This is just actually a Barbie doll uh, dress that I have. And um, I've, every like I said, the universe has laid everything out for me. Um, I have lots of different props for my videos. Um, but I happen to found a little, to, to find a little slipper that kind of looks like a glass slipper. Um, here's two little Barbie shoes. That's what Cinderella basically started out with. She started out with two shoes, but by the end of the night, trying to get back home before the pumpkin um, changed back over, which was her carriage, or I'll say her chariot, um, really, um, she had to hurry up and, and get back home before, you know, it, it would be seen, you know, her secret was out that, you know, she was just a basic everyday female. Um, she wasn't a princess or anything like that. It's just the fairy godmother made her out to be that. I mean, it was always in her, but the fairy godmother brought it out in her. She um, used some, some magic and brought her out, um, all this magic out in her that she probably didn't even believe that she really possessed. You know what I mean? Um, so anyhow, and I, and I kind of feel like... Um, a lot of women or anybody um, we can feel like that in life but um, circumstances and people different things come in your life and they 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 make you see things in yourself that you you maybe never saw so anyhow um, guys I hope you like the layout of the video I got to jump into this real quick um, before of course my video time wears out um, but I want you to take a look around at my um, the everything that I got laid out I do want to say a little bit about the chariot um, because we are within the full moon energy of um, a full moon um, in the sign, the zodiac sign of Cancer. Every zodiac um, sign has a corresponding tarot card that goes along with it that you could work with um, when that zodiac signs like full moon or new moon comes up. So right now, um, the, the the card, the corresponding card that goes along with um, uh, cancer, which is the full moon that's hanging high right now, um, the first full moon of 2022 is in the sign of uh, Cancer, and Cancer's corresponding card is the Chariot. Now, the Chariot puts me and makes me think of a pumpkin, the pumpkin that was in um, Cinderella, because of the fact that um, you know the, the pumpkin was like her ride. The Chariot is card is all about um drive and overcoming obstacles um and um basically your want your wish um getting to the to your heart's desire and what's we're going to say is already ours um that's the magic of the law of attraction it's all about your belief and the feeling that you have um how are you feeling um it's best to feel, you know, to be in the vibration of what you are trying to attract. If it's love, then you need to feel love. You need to have self-love for yourself. And in doing that um, and having that feeling, you were drawing love to you. Um, so anyhow, and um, I, I've really got to jump into what the ritual is all about. But I, I did say that I'm going to turn this into a bit of a... Uh, part one to who knows how many parts this is going to be because I don't know how long my beautiful pumpkin from Halloween is really going to last. I mean, isn't that magical? Um, but anyhow, I love Halloween. Um, but anyhow, um, guys, if you look at this card here, um, I, when I was looking up the information on, um, uh, the full moon and all this different stuff that I've been looking up lately, um, in the chariot, this is a princely, uh, like figure that is um, reigning basically um, in this card. Um, he is the one that's holding the, the wand, which is basically you. Um, you are, are the figure, really. Um, the way I understand the information that I've looked up on this tarot card, you have the power within you with your thoughts, um, the secret, the law of attraction, um, and, and that's the secret. Uh, thinking positive thoughts over negative thoughts and you are 
um, telling these two sphinxes um, what's up what's going on what are we coming towards what you know are you ready for whatever's coming to you um, what are you bringing to you what are you pushing away um, it's about your driving force your thoughts what are you bringing to you with your thoughts I um, mean again I'm talking um, about Cinderella there was a prince in the the fairy tale um, Cinderella and there is a princely like figure in this um, tarot card and it looks like castles in the background um, got to jump keep moving with the video but um, and with the ritual but of course again guys I did say that this is going to be there is going to be a couple of parts um, to this to this video part one whatever part two um, is, is I'm gonna carry it out for a little bit um, while I have this pumpkin um, it's, it's trying to go back but um, I, I'm gonna carry it out a little bit because I love pumpkins um, so anyhow, um, but if you look, I'm going to go into this tarot card a little bit. It is a princely figure. There is a prince, a handsome prince in um, the story of uh, Cinderella or the fairy tale of Cinderella. So I, I like the way everything laid itself out. But I um, want to go into a little bit, a um, little bit about the about the card as well. Because again, I'm making this a couple of different parts to this, um, to this ritual and to this um, idea that I've come up with. Um, so anyhow, guys, if you look at this card, um, you see the two sphinxes. Um, they are, you know, I guess the lead of the, um, of, of the chariot. Um, but basically they're setting and they're waiting on you. Um, I'm sorry, my hands are a little dry. It's winter right now and, um, I need to lotion my hands up. But anyhow, um, you are basically you are basically like this princely figure right here. You are in the command. Um, like, like a prince or a king would be. They, they call, they make the call, they make the decisions, whatever, and it's best to keep it positive. Um, but these sphinxes are basically set, sitting here and they're waiting on you to decide, what, to decide what's up with your wand and um, with your wand. And I've got this... Um, guys I, I put all this stuff together as in I started out things this is crazy the way everything's laid out because I've got things from Halloween I've even got a um basically a candy cane like stick that I'm saying is basically um my fairy godmother's wand here's the fairy godmother and here's her wand um this is the way everything's laid out for me but again everything all this started with Halloween and a pumpkin and, uh, you know, of course, after Halloween, there's Thanksgiving and um, there's Thanksgiving and then there is Christmas. So with Christmas, I never got around to opening to opening this up. So I'm like, wow, that kind of looks like a, a wand. So I'm going to put that in my video. So I'm just kind of liking the way everything's laid out. I hope you like it as well. But anyhow, um, we're focusing in on the wand here. The wand is basically in this card, your thoughts. And it's like the magician card in the tarot, um, because in the magician card, there is a wand present and it's all about what you are putting out through the law of attraction, your thoughts. What are you putting out to the universe? What are you attracting to you with your thoughts? Are you attracting negative stuff? Are you attracting, um, positive stuff that you want in your life? Um, and, um, so anyhow, guys, I'm going to tell you just a little bit more about this, this here. I don't know if I'm really going to be able to get totally into the ritual, but I have gone into, um, basically, um, a little bit of, about the story of Cinderella or whatever. So I'm liking the way the video is laying out. So, um, anyhow, but if you look at this, um, the, the sphinxes, um, I, I tried to look up to see what they really are. So basically the way I understand, you might want to look it up a little bit more. Um, this is, I am winging it here, but, um, winging it. I am winging it here. Um, the, the sphinxes or sphinx is basically the way I understand a human head attached to a lion's body. You know, lions are, um, it, 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 this makes me think of like a real, it's, it's mythical, whatever, but it makes me think of a lot of magic because if you could put a head 
a human's head that's thoughts and a lot of power you know we we have you know a high, you know a higher intelligence really than than animals you know what i mean um so you're putting thoughts and in that kind of thing um more of a mindset you know what i mean um and not just like a beast or an animal like animalistic you know you've you've added with this figure you mythical figure a head um is placed on a lion's body so to me that's a lot of power because you've got strong thoughts and intelligence you know um humans but then you've got the strength of a lion and then if you look at i mean wow wouldn't you want that driving your 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 chariot um so anyhow guys um but if you look at these sphinxes um the sphinxes actually have breasts like a woman and um i just wanted to to say a little something here um i'm gonna see if i can if i can guide the my camera to this you can look at me i'm kind of like a cinderella right now because i'm sitting here and i am actually dressed um in sweatpants they're very very comfortable it's cold outside we had snow recently i'm trying to keep warm with these candles whatever um love my candles you're going to see lots of those in my videos but anyhow um trying to keep warm and cozy comfortable um i like to be that way when i do my rituals but um i i just focus in on the breasts that's on the, the sphinxes um so that makes me think and i think i did read that the, the sphinxes are kind of like a feminine energy that also adds a lot of to me a lot of power to it because you know women we are creators um of course it takes a man to you know to to love a woman and um get her in the motherly way but um all together um in the end it's the woman who who grows the baby um and you know creation she the the the, the man you know um keep this clean i mean this this is a and a i'm not going to say an adult video because that makes it sound like porn but um i most of my videos i do say are for adults um but um when a man and woman get together of course the man is you know planting his seed within the woman but the woman is the one who carries the child and she delivers the baby into the world so it's manifestation creation it comes if the baby pushes out of her um so with that being said, I, you know, I look at this card and I think about, okay, the sphinxes are female, feminine energy. That must have a lot to do with creation. Um, and if you, you see the breasts on the sphinx, I even saw in a, another video that I had watched, or I don't know if it was a video, if I read it or where, where I got the, the information from, but I found out, I've, I've heard it said, read, whatever, that basically when it comes to breast and see me right here i'm i'm a pretty top heavy girl but um so maybe that means i have a big heart but um it said that the heart that basically your breasts and i've seen i've seen on my channel like in the analytics of my video that um so i don't have to feel bad i don't feel bad anyway about my body but um when it comes to um breasts i've seen in the analytics of my videos that mostly a lot of the people the majority of the people that are drawing to my videos and my channel are actually um women and it seems like they're it looks like it's women um age 35 to like 44 are the women that are mostly drawing to my videos they're being attracted or caught into my videos um and ladies whoever you're what who's ever watching this video so far is 25 minutes long thank you for joining the ride with me um i hope you're enjoying the video anyhow whoever you may be it wouldn't have to be a female i told you the cinderella um recently um became uh in the i think belief the 2021 
version of Cinderella is actually a male. So if, if you're guys, I invite you in as well to, to watch my videos, click and subscribe. Um, tell your friends, whatever, um, about my channel. I'm having so much fun making my videos. But anyhow, um, guys, um, basically, I found, I did um, get some information saying that basically the... Um, uh, Basically, when it comes to your breasts, and these are breasts on the, the sphinxes because it's said that these are kind of like uh, feminine or female, like a female-like presence in, in, in the sphinxes. So anyhow, I'm telling you, to me, that's a lot of creation. I'm just thinking about it. That's a lot of creation there. You've got a human um, head, um, the power and force. You know, that's the king of the jungle, a lion. Um, they're the king of the jungle. Um, and then you have, um, and I think, I don't know if this is a super moon. I won't go into that cause I didn't get the information on this full moon that's hanging high right now. Um, that we're putting our wishes out to what out under uh, right now, keep it positive guys, your thoughts, everything. Um, what are you trying to attract? But anyhow, um, a lion is the king of the jungle. So you've got, um, the mind of a human that's high thought then you've got um the strength the king of the jungle um a lion for your body and then we've got breasts like a female females are creation we bring life into the world we we bring babies into the world we feel we feel that we re replenish the earth um with with life so uh, to me that's a lot of um energy in in this card it's, to me it's very very powerful so anyhow, um, with that being said, I did read or read or saw in a video somewhere that, um, excuse me, guys, I am um, kind of getting over a cold, whatever, not COVID-19. Um, but anyhow, um, had to clear my throat a little bit. But anyhow, um, there are breasts on, on these sphinxes. And I did read that your breasts are actually like a manifestation of your heart. It's like if your heart co could come out of your chest, um, it would it would be your breasts. And that's basically what your breasts are. Um, and ladies, don't you love your breasts? Um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I that was always my strong point. Um, I'm, I'm getting a little bit reaching up now. I don't, I'm not gonna say age. But um, that was one part of my body I always loved was was my breasts, um, and and for whatever reason I always thought of my heart, um, even before I I read or heard about that information I always thought about my heart a lot when I thought about my breasts. Like behind my breasts is my heart. You know my 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 beating heart is behind my breasts. I always thought about that when I would wear like a necklace or. Uh, have uh, pearls or a locket like fall down between my breasts I mean if you wear a locket the picture that you have within the locket usually it's somebody or something that you care about and that's falling over top of in between your breasts and over top of your heart um, and I just always felt that way when you know when, when I wear a necklace or something it's close to my skin and it is close to my heart um, and I always, you know, try to, try to just take care of that area, whatever. Um, so anyhow, guys, when I found that out, I'm like, that sounds beautiful to me. Um, and guys, you know, if you're a guy and you're watching this video, you probably love breasts. So anyhow, um, yeah. So anyhow, I just wanted to lay that out there. Um, but you see the, the candy cane here. Um, I've told you a little bit about this card, um, the energy, whatever around the card, um, guys, we've talked about breasts, um, whatever. Um, I have, uh, I've talked about the, the wand, but, um, this is called, my video is called a Cinderella ritual. Um, I'm, I know that I'm going to have to break this up a little bit more. Like I said, um, bring, um, my, um, it, I'm going to have to start the video, another video about this, about this ritual, which I've called, um, a Cinderella ritual. I want you to see my little cat sitting here. My cat, Sasha. You can see her fur. She's here. She's taking a nap. Um, but anyhow, she's here. She's the mascot of the channel. Um, 
basically. Um, so anyhow, um, a Cinderella ritual, um, basically, um, I've taken the idea, um, it was somewhat, I believe, in the book here, The Magic, um, by this author here. I, I don't, Rhonda, but I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, I've really been enjoying the, the secret, the books, whatever. But um, in the secret, the law of attraction, I feel has really been making a change in my life. But um, you can look at me right now. I'm just, I'm basically a Cinderella myself because um, I am really dressed down. I got sweatpants on. I've got, uh, I don't even want to lie, I've got odd socks on right now. So I could use a fairy godmother right now, but I'm keeping it comfortable. Um, basically what this ritual is about, it's about the fact that sometimes, I don't know about you, but I feel like sometimes I could talk um, to pe the people that are around me, even though I love them, my loved ones, um, family members, even friends. You could talk to people sometimes till you're blue in the face. And um, that's a blue candle right there that I've got shining. That kind of stands for uh, my throat chakra because the throat chakra is blue. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I could talk to a person until I am basically basically blue in the face or I could talk to a brick wall really um, but to me when it comes to the law of attraction when it comes to um, the secret um, when it comes to the universe I've gotten to the point where I kind of like to talk to my candles I like to whisper my desires I don't want to call it a want or a wish because that's kind of what I've been seeing that you're supposed to avoid when it comes to the law of attraction saying I want or I wish that's like saying that you don't believe it's yours you in you want to stay in the vibration that your desire is already yours like you are you have your desire in the palm of your hand and it's yours um, and you don't have to hold tight because you know like an open hand there's flow there's flow I mean like these pearls come out of pearls come from water there's flow when your hand is open your hands are open to receive blessings and um, there's flow it's flowing in and then you know you can you can give those blessings back out to the universe it's it's all about you know flow you receive and you know you, you give what you're putting out to the universe as well and so what is coming back to you so anyhow um, and guys I want to say that um, pearls are of the water element um, cancer um, which this is the full moon shining above right now is um, in the sign of cancer and cancer um, uh, deals with the, the element of water and it's all about emotions um, it's all about emotions uh, and emotions can be can be positive they can be negative um, tears can be tears of joy or they can be tears of pain um, so anyhow um, don't want to, to stay on that too much but I just wanted to put that out there pearls are from water the sea whatever so anyhow um, but getting back to the ritual um, sometimes I feel like um, you know when I light my candles um, and I say my desires what which are already mine um, I feel um, when I work with the law of attraction um, and I've, I've, I've found that to be true in a lot of different ways um, when I speak the desires of my heart over my candles over my lit candles when I speak over top of pumpkins or anything like of nature um, I've got a rock here um, it's decorated but it's a rock um, I don't know how many things of the elements I actually have laid out but I, I've got a couple things laid out um, but when I speak over top of these things and um, I don't have this is from the water element and this is a glass that I actually wanted to take outside and um, fill this glass um, this cup with um, the snow that's outside that's the element you know from 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 the universe the snow it would melt into water so um, anyhow, when I speak over top, speak my desires or whatever I'm speaking over top of these elements, whatever, I feel that there is a magic to it. Um, I try to watch what I say over top of my candles because there have been things that I have said over top of my candles and they really, like magic, have manifested in the way that I said it. Um, and I'll be going over that in other videos. Um, but anyhow, um, I got to think about time right now and, and what I'm talking about. 
But um, instead of all the time speaking and telling other people um, the desires of my heart. Um, and it says in the, in the law of attraction that you, you kind of got to watch that because not everybody is wanting the best for you. Even people that you may think are your friends. I mean, sometimes they can be jealous of you. You don't always want to put out there to people, um, to everybody, social media, whatever, what the desires of your heart is. You'll see it when it's mine. And I'll say it's already mine. So um, that's the way I feel about it. The proof is in the pudding. So anyhow, um, but with that being said, um, I say with this Cinderella virtual here, um, Sometimes I feel like, um, tell it to a pumpkin. I can tell the universe the desires of my heart and, um, feel that the universe is working with me and it's going to bring to me in due time at the right time, what I have spoken with my throat chakra, um, and I kind of feel, I, I feel, I feel a magic in that. I, I, there's been so many instances where guys, where it, it's really been magical and it's really like I'm a witch in w whatever I say, Wh which, which way am I choosing to be? Am I, which way am I choosing to be? Am I choosing to be positive and draw the positive towards me and push away the negative or with my words, am I choosing negative and pushing away the positive like which way am I going which way am I going if you want to think about witchcraft which way am I going am I being positive or am I being negative with the things that I say so with that being said um tell it to a pumpkin tell it to the universe you may not think that the universe is listening to you you, you may not think that the moon above right now is listening to what you say but it said that whatever you do, like six months from now, whatever you are putting out right now, like from a new moon, full moon, whatever, six months from now, you should start seeing some seeds, at least seeing seeds, like some change. You should start seeing some change. Um, you, when, when, whenever you do a ritual, you don't always just, if you were to plant a plant or, or seeds, flowers, you wouldn't just go out every day to check and see, well, where's the buds? Where, where's the roses? Where, where's all this? Where's it at? You have to give it time. You let the universe take over and work its magic um, with it. So with that being said, it said that like six months, in six months, you should really see something from whatever you did tonight, this full moon or a new moon. What were you saying six months ago at this time? And now what has popped up into your life like a pumpkin? So um, when, it, when I think of a Cinderella ritual, um, the full moon's hanging up tonight, hanging high up tonight. We are actually the second night, the second night, um, well, one night after the full moon. And it said that you can work with the energy of a moon phase, like the new moon, the full moon, three days. That's the number of creation. Three days before the fact, the night of the fact, the full moon the night of the fact, the full moon, and three nights after the fact. So right now I am one night after the fact. So I'm still in your, you know, the, the law of attraction, the universe is always out there listening to you. But it's just said that with the full moon, new moon, the energy is very, very potent because the moon is full. The moon, these pearls, whatever, come from the water element. Um, the full moon, the moon, it has, when it's full, you know, the moon has an effect on a woman's cycle, a woman's cycle, meaning her, her menstrual cycle, cycle, her period. Um, you know, the, the moon, I think it has like a 28 day cycle. Don't quote me, but a 28 day cycle. And I believe your period is 28 days long. Um, and we're kind of set in tune with that. Um, I think there's a lot of, there's a message in that. There's a secret in that, really. Um, and it said that when you're in your period, you're in your power. Like, what are you speaking out to the universe? What, what are you putting out there? Um, 
So anyhow, guys, try to keep it positive. But anyhow, um, but the moon, like, you know, the water, the moon, when it's full, like the moon has an effect on, um, on the tides of the, the oceans, the seas, whatever. It has, an, it has a pull on it. It affects the tides, the waves, whatever. Um, so when you think that it would affect us like humans as well like us as people a people because of the fact that we are our bodies i think are like 70 percent water so and again this cup could be filled with with water um i i'm trying to get i'm gonna make it outside and um not now of course but tomorrow and try to get some snow before it's all gone before the sun comes and, and melts it away put it in here and um I'll be able to use it with with in my videos and in my rituals whatever but anyhow guys um but just think about that if if the moon has an effect a full moon has an effect on um uh the tides the sea the oceans bodies of water then why wouldn't it have an effect on us as humans our bodies are like 70 percent water um you know in water affects all your body your cells everything you know if you're dehydrated you know it's gonna affect you um if you're dehydrated you can see it in your urine um i've 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 seen where dehydration can make you um you know it has an effect on your thoughts your brain like you know how how your brain functions like if you're dehydrated so with all that being said, you're thinking about water and all that and the, the moon. I think it would definitely have an effect on, on you. You know what I mean? And I, I'll say that right now, um, I wasn't feeling the best today. So I did nap once I got off from work, whatever. But I'm not tired right now. It said that during a full moon, a lot of people, it affects us. Um, I'm not tired right now. Um, I, I, I'm going to have to, to, you know, to go to bed before long, of course. I've got my things that I've got to, I've got to do tomorrow, whatever. Um, but anyhow, this video has been going on for a little bit because I see my incense has burned out. But anyhow, um, guys, when it comes to the ritual, basically, um, my idea is, I'm going to say it right now. My idea is when it comes to the universe, it's like, um, there's a lot of things in the universe, but with your thoughts and all that it's it's kind of like the universe is like blank it's um when the new moon i'll say comes it's basically like a blank piece of paper um it, it, it's it's dark outside but on that new moon so you you could look at this video it wouldn't have to be the full moon that you look at this video i always try to put information in my videos that you could work with um at any time I always try to put that in my videos. Every video, I try to put something in my video that you could work at no matter when you are viewing the video, whether it's spring, summer, winter, fall, whatever season, whatever holiday, uh, whatever time, um, you could work with it. And there's, they, I try to make it so they don't have an expiration date. So anyhow, um, basically with the new moon or a full moon with it like we have now, um, you, you could take like a piece of paper. You think about a new moon, it's dark outside. Well, you've got, if you had a white piece of paper or like a journal, you could write on there and make it affirmative, guys. You know, the positive. Scripting, I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, I'll make a video on that. I haven't done a whole lot of scripting, but there was one time that I was scripting and literally right after what I had written down, I think I was like third, I was like three three sentences the number of creation into scripting this under a full moon i was under a full moon i was out on my porch with i was in about the third sentence and i saw a change walking towards the desire that i was i was writing down at that moment it was already trying to manifest didn't come out exactly the way i wanted to i'll have to go over it in another video i always say that and i try to watch my videos and go back and see what i said to deliver on what I said I was going to do. That's why I always try to go back over my videos. But I was three sentences into the scripting, putting down under that full moon, the desire of my heart. And it was already manifesting and, and making its way to me. Um, and I'll tell you real quick, it was about a, um, 
it, it was about it, it was about romantic company. I'm on the porch and three sentences into it, there was a man that rode by and said that um, he had seen me setting, he sees me on my porch a lot. And he's like, it seems like you're, you spend a lot of time alone. He's like, would you, you know, would you care to, 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 to hang out sometime? Guys, um, he wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Um, but in some ways he did have some of the things that I was looking for, but that's a whole other story. I'll go into it another time, but you see, this is a blank piece of paper. There's a lot of power in that with that, with a blank piece of paper, you take a pen, you take a pen, whatever, and you write down what you're saying is, is, is true. What you're saying is true. Now, I, th my channel is all about, it's, this is, um, and this is a long video, I do apologize, but yeah, I'm feeling this tonight, I think it's because of the full moon. Um, basically, guys, um, th this, this channel is all about my personal journey with the law of attraction. I'm planning to take you along with me. I'm going to tell you about my journey. When I was younger, I've always kept diaries. Now, this is, it's Sunset Songs, my channel is kind of like a video diary. Um... This is the longest video I've come up with so far. Thank you, Full Moon. It's the universe keeping me up tonight. Um, and it, guys, if you've stayed with this video, I know I'm new to YouTube, so maybe not a lot of people did, but um, are staying with the video. But either way, um, I'm having so much fun making it, and um, I can always come back and retrieve what I was doing uh, during during the, this full moon, this Cancer full moon, which is said to be a very powerful full moon. It's the first full moon of, of the new year. Um, I, I can't wait to see what's going to be by the last full moon. So anyhow, um, with that being said, um, I've always kept diaries, journals, whatever like that. But now with my channel, I don't have to write. I still like diaries, journals, drawing, doodling, whatever. But I don't have to do it as much because now I can just make a video diary. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, thank you, universe. <laughs> but anyhow, um, with that being said, um, I can look back on old diaries that I had back in the day where um i was pretty negative i would say man i would say things like i'm lonely and there's a lot in saying i am those words i am that's like affirmative you, you that's like an, an affirmation i am and then to take it and write it down so now you've made it permanent uh did you use a permanent marker did you use a pen or a pencil now you've made it permanent you've written it down there's a lot of power in that think about it um that's like saying this is true so why would you want to put on this blank piece of paper a bunch of negative thoughts? You want to put positive down. I notice when I look back on old uh, journals and diaries that I had from when I was, you know, years ago, I always wrote down negative stuff like, I am so lonely. Dear God, I'm a good person. Why, why don't I have someone to love in my life? Why is it this way? Well, why was it? If you think about the secret and the law of attraction, it's because I was being negative. I was saying things as in, I am lonely. So with the Cinderella ritual that I've come up with, and I'm going to let you just read this paper here. It says, noun. Um, I looked up a little bit about Cinderella. Um, and it actually had a definition. If you look at it, it says, noun. Because um, first I looked up how to spell Cinderella. And this is what I came up with. And it says, A Cinderella ritual. See that? A Cinderella ritual okay and then here cinderella um it, it actually had a, a a definition guys a noun a woman who's you see that a woman sorry guys i don't want to make you dizzy a woman whose merits were not recognized but who then had, or I changed the, the it around a little bit, who then had or achieves, achieves sudden, achieve, or achieves su sudden success and recognition. A fictional young girl who is saved from her stepmother and stepsisters by a fairy godmother and a handsome prince. So in my video, I'm saying that my fairy godmother here tonight is a witch. 
and basically what are you putting out there what, what direction are you going in which direction are you being positive which direction are you going in are you being positive or are you being negative that's the type of witchcraft i say i work with i'll say i am a witch i work with witchcraft because which way what's so bad what's so bad about that which way are you choosing to go are you choosing to, to think positive and draw draw the positive in are you choosing to think negative and draw the negative in? Um, okay, I've got a, a little um, uh, thing here that's that it's a it's a pen and there's a witch on it, and this says another pen that says witch and famous, and um, again a, a prince the 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 princess was basically the young lady Cinderella was saved by a prince, your chariot, you know your pumpkins. You know, whatever you want to say, um, she was saved by a fairy godmother, this witch, or yourself. You as a witch, which you're putting out into the universe, positive or negative. Um, she was saved from the, the stepmother and stepsisters by a fairy godmother and a handsome prince. So anyhow... I'm saying that the universe basically is um, my thoughts and the universe working with me is basically um, my chariot, my chariot. Um, it is my, um, it's my, um, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, my heart's desire, um, what is already mine flow, open hand, whatever. It's already mine. I don't have to hold on to it so tightly. You know, because it's mine. Like, if, if something's yours, um, why do you have to hold on to, to it so tightly? Um, but anyhow, with the Cinderella ritual, I want to lay it down real quick. Um, it, this has turned out to be longer than I thought. But anyhow, um, it is what it is. Um, again, if you've stayed with the video, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I, I, I do understand that I am new and what nerve I have to be putting out such a, a long video when um, I'm very new to, to YouTube. But anyhow, um, I've got to build up. But hey, th th this is this is this is my journey, and this is what I'm putting out. So again, um, this the the ritual is basically a blank piece of paper. That's a clean slate. Um, you could have did this during the new moon, or you could do it on on a full whenever, guys. Think about what you're putting out there. Um, my idea is I have a pumpkin. I what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this piece of paper, and on one side, because I've been going, I have been going through a lot of things lately. Um, I'm actually going to write on one side the, a negative thought. Like I could say, I'm not going to say I am lonely. I could say um, right now it's cold outside. So I might write on this side over here. Um, on the left side, I'm going to say. And then on the right side, I'm going to put what what I'm saying is already mine. On this left side, which I'm trying to leave behind, like left. I'm trying to leave it behind. I didn't left it behind. As in, it's in the past. I am going to put on this side um, the negative. Uh, I might say, um, I'm not going to say I am lonely. I'm going to say, uh, I don't know. Loneliness is cold. It's cold outside right now. There's snow on the ground. Loneliness is cold. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like being lonely. I might put that on the, but on this side, I'm going to put something like, I am very, I am very much in, in love. I am so grateful to be so very much in love, something like that. And then, um, it put it, it the negative here, but then put a, a positive spin on it over here. Like the fairy godmother did for this, for Cinderella. She put a positive spin on things. That's, that's what she did. She took the wand she put a positive spin on it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have to come back and make another video about this. I probably will, but we'll see. Um, but I got to hurry up with this video because I see that the time's getting ready to run out. So anyhow, guys, um, like I said, the negative over here, leave it behind. The positive on this side, draw a line, put the positive over here. And then what I'm going to do is take this paper, once it's all written out, 
I am. I'm going to say I am so happy to be very much in love, whatever. Time's running out here. The, the time is about to turn 12 o'clock on this video because the video is about to turn off. And if it does, I apologize, guys. Thank you for staying with the video. And uh, But I'm trying to wrap this up because I see the time is running out and see it on my phone. Um, you take it then. And once you've written your, your, your things down, whatever, take the paper, fold it towards you. Because you are bringing this positivity into your life. You're attracting it. Fold it down towards you. And it, it wouldn't have to be a pumpkin. I'm using a pumpkin. I'm going to take this pumpkin, put it in my backyard after a while. I'm going to be writing these things down. And I'm going to place this, this piece of paper that, I, that is nail blank that I'm going to write on. And I'm going to put it under the pumpkin. Have the pumpkin rest on top of it. And I'm going to let the universe the rain the snow whatever comes the sun whatever shine down and rain down whatever on top of that pumpkin it's going to go back down into the earth this is my yard i don't you know do that you know littering and all that but um just for this ritual whatever and at my altars i do put notes to the universe whatever thank you notes whatever love letters if if you want to say thank valentine's day will be here soon um next month I put it out there, you know, with my, with my, um, with my, 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 um, altars in my yard, I'll say, but I got to hurry up with this the camera's about to, to turn off. Um, the video's about to cut off, take it, write it all down and fold it towards you. You're bringing it to you, place it under the your pumpkin, an apple, whatever you want to, or just put it out in your yard, whatever, put it on your 